Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim where I'm going to take a look at Local Legend number 11. This is the Aero 45. It was released in the marketplace. Uh, base price is $15, though if you have the Deluxe or Premium Edition you'll be able to get it for $10. Bucks. And it looks like this. Sort of like an Art Deco sort of plane in a way. And uh, there's two versions. There's the Aero 45 and the Aero 145. The Aero 145 is more updated, has GPS and an autopilot. Um, but this, I, I sort of like this better because it's more retro and it feels like it ought to be more retro. It's a tail dragger. It's just a general aviation plane. It's sort of in the class, in my mind, it's sort of in the class of the DA-62 if we're talking about sp uh, stock planes. You know, it's got the two engines and it it's sort of topping out at about 130 knots. Anyway, let us give it a go. We are taking off from the it's it's sort of home airport, but Vadakadi Vadakadi Airport, uh, which is the home of Aero Vadakadi, which makes the plane, and so we're just outside of Prague. Speedometers in kilometers per hour, so that we get a feeling like we're going faster than we actually are. It's actually a little bit wobbly, so if you find it very wobbly you might be thankful for the autopilot and the Aero 145 I know I was for certain flights I've flown it a few times already the Aero 145 cockpit is sort of similar to in style to the Carinado Cessna 170 um, it's sort of more of an art deco sort of interior this is a more basic interior so that one is more stylish, but it has the more modern instrumentation. So we're going to fly over Prague and see some castles. Right now we're going 100 knots. Some gusting. We've got a 20 knot wind. Exterior is nice. I wish there were more liveries for it. It's a fun plane to fly. I've already had some time with it flying around Japan, actually. I wanted to try out some scenery that was pretty intense. On uh, flightsim.to, there's some huge scenery packages for for Japan. Uh, they are by Demokin, and they're like 20 gigabytes a piece. I wanted to see if I could load them at all. This plane does have the minimum range for an around-the-world flight. It can do the sort of critical legs. So that is a plus to my mind. So we're going to be seeing some castles. I've got three castles plotted. These are points of interest. They're outside of Prague. Unfortunately, when I saved the flight plan to little nav map, it hasn't properly captured the lettering because of the accent marks on the names of the castles. Uh, so I can't quite figure out how to pronounce them. But there are the three castles on your point of interest map that will be right outside of Prague, okay? Well, you see a nice bridge there. This actually can do a dive pretty well. Um, it, it can't go in a straight line at very high speeds, but it sure can dive without going past its max speed. It's a nice little bridge there. Like we're going 165, 165 knots there. But yeah, we're sustaining 166. I think I read that it was based on the HE-111, so its sort of dive capabilities are, I guess, not a surprise. Hit 175 there. Oh, there's choppiness. Inside the cockpit, it looks great. I mean, we've got these huge windows after all. It's interesting having the engine down there. Whoa, it's getting tossed by the wind a lot. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Actually, more than many planes I've flown in flight sim. So we're coming up on our first castle here. This one 
still has the feel of an extended chateau. Almost cathedralish. The flying low down here, um, well, the indicator speed is about 120. If we're level. I feel like for the Aero 45, we could probably do with a little bit more weather. I mean, there's like a little bit of weathering on the edge of the panels there. But overall, it's very clean. I would expect the 145 to be very clean, of course, because it's supposed to be more modern. But maybe this one a little bit more worn out. This is a, uh, a calm touring plane looking at the sights as we're doing now. Very European. Very good for Europe or someplace like Japan where the sights are fairly tightly packed, you know, a dense area. Take off and landing is easy. Keeping it flying straight is hard. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's, it, it jiggles a lot. Granted, we're flying in a 24 knot crosswind right now. Well, I think our next castle is also of the big chateau kind of variety. As opposed to the fortification. You know, there's castles which are fortifications and there are castles which are just really big houses. And, uh, well, maybe this is... Uh, it looks more fortified now that I get closer to it. Because it's sort of got that hill. I think it's got a wall around it. It's got a proper tower there too. This one's leaning more castle-like. Definitely tough to attack. This one. Very tight. Okay, on to the third one. Because it's very tolerant of diving, you can do some interesting maneuvers with this. Interesting lake right here. Or pond or pool or something. Huh. Doesn't look like a reservoir. But it's definitely something there. As opposed to that little block of water there, that's just probably an error. <laughs> um, Nice valley here. River seems to be the Barunka. B E R O U N K A. Seems to be an interesting tower there. I suspect that might be our third castle. That's some formidable castlery right there. Multiple walls, steep hill. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's that's serious castlery. Okay. Back to Prague. I think I'll land at the main airport. This is an interesting... I don't know if this is an error or whether it's actually like this. Could be like... a quarry. It looks like a quarry. It's probably like this. Or a mine. Some mining goes on around here. What I'm assuming is the main airport is LKPR. Okay, flying by Prague and it's programmetry again. But yeah, I'll probably have to do a manual cache of it for it to look sharp in the future. Some nice custom buildings. They didn't mention them on the map, but... That's not just photogrammetry, those are custom. Maybe... maybe there is a mod that's adding them, I don't know, but... Definite custom stuff here. Like those over there. Yep. Those look nice and sharp.
Okay, it's not liking the wind right now. This building over here is pretty good. Don't know what it is, but looks very nice. Is that a cathedral I spy over there? Well, this is a stadium, that's for sure. This one's really nice. And yeah, that was the cathedral there. Super. Okay, Prague proper, if you will. Lots of nice bridges. There's that one bridge that we saw earlier. And turning into the airport. Oh, Prague out the window. You can see some of the sights there. Takeoff and landing speed is about 100 kilometers per hour with this. Okay, landing gear down. Flaps. Burning. Full flaps. It's got 60 degrees of flaps. Oh, oh we're choppy. Or close to it, like 55 ish. We've got uh, 18 knot headwinds, so <laughs> we're not gonna look like we're moving forward very much. Can I manage to land this tail drag without bouncing? That is the question. On the other hand, it likes to hover quite a lot. Uh, I still bounced. Okay. We're done. So that's the Aero 45 and the environs of Prague. So alright, as I find myself a parking spot, the airport doesn't look too bad. I'll uh, we'll wrap it up here and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.